Do we got a second? We had a couple of unrelated incidents at the Grand Fork City Council meeting on this uh, Monday night. We start with Sean Beauclair, a uh, Grand Forks resident who's always uh, constantly worried about national security following the uh, failed uh, Chinese Fufang corn processing plant. He uh, went uh, on for uh, five minutes and was cut off. Uh, we'll go to the uh, end of his uh, speech here. You can hear a little bit of that before they finally recess the meeting. Chinese government owns land north, north end of Grand Forks. Wow, all of a sudden that's a showstopper for me. We're no longer talking about Fufang, right? We're talking about China CCP. Thank you, Mr. Beclair. That's, that's going to be your five minutes. Appreciate your time coming up here today. Okay, Mr. Mr. Beclair, I guess I would look under our policy, just look for a motion to recess. I'll make a motion for a recess. We got a motion from Ms. Lonsky. Do we got a second from... Ms. Berg, so all those in favor of taking a short recess so Mr. Beauclair can, can get himself under control, uh, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same aye. sign. Motion um, is voted unanimously. So with that, the uh, feed from the uh, Grand Fork City Council uh, took a break, as the council did, and Mr. Beauclair left without incident. However, at the same time, a large police presence outside the building. And we've now learned this had nothing to do with Mr. Beauclair. Just talk with uh, Sergeant Starr, who says uh, they got a tip that a guy who was attending the uh, city council meeting had outstanding warrants, and he was arrested outside. He had uh, warrants uh, vaguely uh, for trespassing and storage of junk. Not a lot of details on that. Uh, but again, a guy, another uh, person who was attending the city council meeting, uh, police were tipped off that and uh, knew he had outstanding warrants, and he was arrested outside City Hall without incident. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.